we're back with even more facts about Mortal Kombat 11. In addition to the two new characters Cetrion and Garrus, the third new character Collector is a despicably greedy, weaselly Shao Kahn loyalist, determined to put his master back atop the Outworld throne. Don't let Collector's multiple arms confuse you though, he's not a Shao Kahn like Goro. With six arms instead of four, he's a Naknaden, a different race native to Outworld. When Shao Kahn conquered the Naknada, he enslaved them and forced them to build the Colosseum, as well as his personal palace. Shao Kahn then promoted certain Naknada like Collector from slaves to slavers, and tasked them with collecting treasures for him as tribute. Of course, there are plenty of returning characters in Mortal Kombat 11. Ed Boon said that the story largely determines which characters Netherrealm decides to bring back, but that fans are also a factor. He insists that they have a vote in which characters rejoin the roster. Characters like Sub-Zero and Scorpion are obvious Mortal Kombat shoe-ins, except for that one time that Scorpion wasn't in Mortal Kombat 3. But some of these characters haven't been seen in a minute. This is the first time that Frost has been playable since Mortal Kombat Armageddon in 2006. Now though, she's a cyborg like the rest of the Cyber Lin Kuei, complete with advanced upgrades courtesy of Kronika. Speaking of cyborgs, Cyrax and Sector both appear in Mortal Kombat story mode. You can fight against them, but unfortunately they aren't part of the playable roster. Make sure you subscribe to the leaderboard for more Mortal Kombat madness.